okay, I just said yeah. Okay, anyway, I guess I'm stuttering today. Um, <laughs> so as you all know, I live in Germany, and I am obsessed with YouTube, which lately does not seem a thing. And sorry, this quality is really, really bad. But I've yet to purchase a new camera since I lost mine, so I'm still doing laptop videos. Whatever makes me cool. Not really. <laughs> um, I just wanted to do a video about like stepping out of your comfort zones. Um, kind of ranted with a video about how we moved from Minnesota to California, and I just I think I'd like to do the same thing. As you all know, I live in Germany. I think I've said that already. <laughs> but yeah, I've lived here for about five months now, and I'll live here for another six. And I can't wait. It's gonna. Yeah. It's going to be the best experience of my life. Who knows? Maybe I'll have better, but as of now, it has been the best. I've. I've <laughs> been all around the country. I visited the Black Forest. I visited the longest bar in the world. I've taking boat rides around cities and soon I'll be going to a bunch of different countries in Europe and I went to different really popular cities. I mean I have friends now from Brazil, Chile, Italy, Germany, <laughs> Canada, Peru, Bolivia, or else. Um, I think I know some people from Colombia, and, I mean, and all over, mostly Brazil, but we got a lot of South Americans. Um, that's another thing, there's the huge debate in one of my Facebook groups that I'm in, and it's whether or not people from the States, from the States, from U.S. subject, should be able to call themselves Americans. Or if we should be called like United Statesians. Kind of thing to me. Back to the big picture of stepping out of your comfort zone. I obviously had to step out of my comfort zone to move to another country. I mean, that, that's obvious to anyone. Um, and it has been difficult, but I wouldn't mind any of that. I mean, stepping out of a comfort zone is super scary. It's throwing balls your way that you don't know how to avoid. It's jumping through hoops that are out of your reach, but somehow you make do. I mean, you might miss a hoop every now and then, you might get hit by a ball, but in the end, those bruises, those memories, that's what makes life. And I would not want it any other way. Um, it really has been an experience of a lifetime, and I was always that girl who sat in my room with a book, soap operas on TV, maybe PBS Kids. I was just a small town girl. I mean, I, I had friends, but no one, I didn't have like a large group of friends. I wasn't popular. That's for sure. Um, I have my best friend, who I've known since I was in fifth grade, and I mean, I would not want anybody else as my best friend, but <laughs> I keep cutting my head off, sorry. Um, but yeah, I've always been that quiet girl, the smart, quiet girl whose family was the smoking hot girls in the grades above me, and I've always been okay with that. I'm a pretty person, not as pretty as my cousins or my sister, but a pretty person, and I just am happy where life has taken me with in it all because I stepped out of my comfort zone. I stepped out of my comfort zone when I got a job at 15 or when I signed up to be an exchange student. Not everybody gets this chance and if I wouldn't know, who knows who would have. Maybe somebody would be doing a better job at it. But I, I honestly would think that if somebody else had this, that I would still be that person just sitting in my room. And I want to travel. I mean, this has shown me that traveling is the best thing ever. 
um, when you meet new people, then in your place, then it's, it's, it's definitely new. And I think the exciting part about it is that, that it's all new, that you, you don't know what to expect from every bend. Um, I love it. There's nothing I love more. So, signing off.